Hi, I'm Tara from Fire Pit Ceramics, and I just want to tell you a little bit about our adult throwing classes. Throwing is throwing on the wheel like this. We offer um, beginning, intermediate, and advanced classes. Um, uh, the classes go for six weeks, and they're each two and a half hours. You can come in and use the studio anytime. Um, and basically, through the classes, you'll learn how to throw functional pieces, um, cups, bowls, plates, and you can use these things in your home day to day. And then um, after it's fired once, you can paint it, decorate it any way you want, and then you know it's yours to take home. So now that we've got our aprons on, we can get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is hold our clay in our right hand, since we're all right-handed here. And with the majority of the clay coming out of the bottom of your hand, look at the center of your bat and just slam it right on down. Good job, you guys did a good job getting it in the center. <laughs> um, so now what I would recommend is just taking your hands, making sure it's on there. I don't, I don't want it to be moving or sliding. The next thing that we want to do is basically get our clay um, centered to where we can actually begin throwing it. Right now, obviously, it is it's so wonky, there's nothing that we can really do with it at this point. So, you've each got a sponge in your bucket. Um, let's go ahead and squeeze some water into your sponge squeeze it out over your piece. You don't need a whole lot. The things that we really want to focus on when we're centering is keeping our elbows in, keeping our biceps flexed. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is anchor our left elbow, considering that you're right-handed, on your, on your body somewhere. I like to use my left hip bone. You can use your leg, whatever works for you. So what we're going to want to do is primarily use this part of our left hand when pushing forward. We're not going to involve our left fingers too much. We're going to be mostly using this part of our hand. So I want to spin up to medium speed and I'll show you guys this before, before you go ahead. Um, so I'm going to spin up to medium speed. I want to press forward with my left. Then I want to press down with my right. I want my right hand to be in a fist as I come down. So. This is kind of how it looks. I'm pressing forward with my left, down with my right. If the clay begins to feel sticky or hot, that means you need more water. So you can either use your sponge or your fingers, slow it down, add a little bit of water. So I'm pressing forward with my left and down with my right. And that's what your clay looks like when it's centered. See, uh, it's, it's moving together as one. This would be an example of something that's not centered. So most everyone needs assistance when they first begin um, centering. So I'm going to assist you in getting this perfectly centered. Um, I want you to align your, your left hand like we talked about. Right, you're going to be pushing with that this part of your hand. Then make a fist with your right hand. I'm going to give you a little bit more water. And then I want you, I'm, I'm going to be pressing on this side of your hand. I want you to spin up to full speed. Let's top of your hand over. Let off some of the pressure on your right hand. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more water. So do you feel that, how it's moving around in your hands? Um, it's, it's not wobbling, it's very smooth. That's what we're looking for. And so once your piece is at that, at that place, you want to let off your pressure very gradually so that it, um, it doesn't put another wonk in it, right. if that makes sense. So good job. So after you're centered, your next step is going to be to sink your hole, which is basically coming right down to the middle. Then our third step is going to be to pull out towards our belly buttons, creating the bottom of our piece. And then we're going to pull up. So I'm going to be grabbing that clay and moving it upwards. Clay naturally wants to go out, so I am focusing on pulling it up and in, kind of almost in a cone shape. And there you have a basic mug form to which we can add handles later and uh, use in your kitchen every day. So some people think that creating pottery is very complicated, but it's really not at all. With the right resources um, and the right environment, it's actually very easy and very fun. Uh, so I encourage you all to come down to Fire Pit Ceramics and um, just try it out for yourself. I know you'll love it. <laughs>